Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 43 of Darwell20's Omni Factory series. Yay! Well, I'm just charging up my flux capacitor. You can see I added a second capacitor bank here. Total storage capacity, 50 million. Total in and out, 50,000 each direction. Pretty slick. Not too shabby. I honestly am a little confused as to where all my power is going. It feels like... Feels like my power is like just going really crazy. I'm using up a lot, it seems. It feels like I'm using a lot of power, and I don't think it's these, right? This is just an advance, so that's not that much. This guy's also running on MV, right? So like the um, energy conduits for this dude, is there just one MV or what's the deal? Yeah, energy input hatch MV. So he's not even that crazy in terms of power usage. So I don't know like where all the power is going. There's only one MV, right? So it's not using that much power. Feels like we're burning a lot though. Though, you know what? Now it seems to have stabilized pretty well. Cause these guys aren't emptying anymore, right? So they're stopped. So I think, yeah, actually we're not doing too bad. I was I was cooking a lot of, I was automating and processing and all kinds of stuff was happening. So that's probably all it was. Um, that said, we're doing great on power, actually. We're doing really great on power. Uh, anytime those generators downstairs kick in, things have been pretty good. Um, over here, you can see we've got about 111 buckets of refinery gas. We're building up a backlog of naphtha, because remember what I told you is that um, once we run out of naphtha, it would start exporting refinery gas. Once we run out of refinery gas, it'll start exporting naphtha. So we'll go back and forth on those two, right? Um, we've also got a healthy amount of diesel stored in there uh, for when we burn out our biodiesel, right? So we've got a lot of fuel, actually. We have a real lot of fuel. And technically speaking, um, if we made, let's say, eight 16x vibrant cables, we could run this line um, one, two, three, four more deep. No problem. Right? So we could have four more gas turbines and four more diesel generators and 16x power feeding into here. So in terms of power gen, we're doing really good. So that said, I feel like it's probably a good time to branch into extreme voltage. Dun, 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 dun. Extreme voltage. Um, so quest-wise, let's take a quick peek. Um, you know, we're doing okay. What's this thing? End game tab. Yeah, I think we checked that out already. Cool, we've got Canthal ingots now. Let's go ahead and just claim those so we can get some coins. Um, I, I did update the pack an episode or two back, so we've got a few things here. Storage drawers, you might want to look into those at some point, but right now my, my storage stuff is going okay. Hey, gas turbine, that's cool. We got we got the refinery gas, neat. More Omni coins for us. And a good time will be had by all. Epichlorohydrin, how'd I do? Epichlorohydrin, that feels pretty good. Feels like I said that properly. Sounding pretty solid. Um. That's the thing. A colorless liquid with a pungent garlic-like odor. It's needed for the production of epoxid. Like the last three or four quests have mentioned epoxid in this line. So I'm starting to think like, eh, you know, uh, simplest. Acetic acid. All right, cool. That's neat. Ethanone, barium, ferroboron, yttrium, boron, rare earths. This stuff I assume is leading to nuclear craft stuff, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, clearly this makes all the... Uh, Thermal fluids. I did look at an oil drilling rig. If you don't like the idea of mining out oil sand veins, you can build an oil drilling rig. You'll need to provide it with power, drilling fluid, and a steady supply of pipes. Um, and the pipes only have a 1% chance to have one be used up per bucket. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if we need to do that. Um, I'm hoping there's no quests that branch off of there, and I'm going to assume there aren't. I don't think we need to do that, because we have a lot of oil sands ore that we can also mine up. Um, speaking of our miner, I haven't been over here to check on this bad boy for a little bit. He might be done with his task, or at the very least, uh, getting ready for a recharge. Cool. I had him working on uh, sodalite, and it looks like he found a talc vein. Pentaldolite, glauconite, cool, soapstone. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Pentaldonite smelts into nickel. Okay, glauconite smelts into glauconite dust, which is a bunch of things. Talc ore. Uh, is talc. <laughs> cool. There's a surprise. Um, neat. No idea. Soapstone. Soapstone dust. Okay. No idea what any of these things really do. Um, we can get some makes lubricant, I guess. That's nifty. Uh, we can also separate into silicon and magnesium in large quantities. I don't know. We'll 
figure it out. We'll let all this mining finish up, and uh, in the meantime, once that's done, I probably want to have it get to work somewhere else on some stuff. How am I for titanium? Ooh, 175. That's not bad at all. Um, so if I wanted to get more titanium, right, I could easily just snag some rutile dust and put it in here. And that should get us crafting almost immediately, right? As soon as it's in there, it should, yeah, kick into gear. Nice. Um, I did wind up throwing some batteries in here because I found that this machine without any batteries at all in the CEUs and CEFs uh, was, was a little bit of a problem to not have battery power in there. So we'll let that cook, produce us uh, some more titanium, and let's look down the line of what's next for us, right? So to get into tungsten, right, this was the thing that we needed to work on. And I've been holding on to this tungsten state dust for about three or four episodes now as a reminder of, hey, Dyer. Don't forget about your tungsten state dust that you need to process. Um, so we can electrolyze it in a, looks like a, yeah, we need a, we need an EV electrolyzer, right? Greater than 512, so EV electrolyzer. Um, and that gets us some lithium and some, some tungsten dust, which then we can blast furnace um, in a 3000 Kelvin blast furnace, which is what the reason was we made this, right? Yeah, 36,000, cool. Um, and then, uh, you can be cooled in a vacuum freezer. Not bad. So we'll want to set all that up so we can get our tungsten and we'll see what's involved there. Cool. Okay. So I'm teaching you how to make EV machine holes and casings, right? So that's going to be with polyethylene. Okay. You know what? I did the wrong one for EV machine hole. This is the wrong one. I wanted to do this recipe. Yeah, that'll be way better. Cool. Nice. And that's the one with polyethylene, right? Is that the one that's this machine? Yeah, it is. Cool. Okay. So that guy needs no circuits. So he's going to go there, and that should be good. Okay, I like that. That's where my HV machine holes have been made as well. So if I want one of those now... EV machine hole. You probably don't know how to make titanium plates. So that's like one of the last bits of thing that you're gonna need to know how to make. Compressor can do it. Okay, that sounds cool. Greg Tech Compressor, get to work, buddy. So now you can make one of these bad boys, right? Um, now we're also going to need uh, to, to centrifuge this thing. We need, we need an electrolyzer, right? So we need an EV electrolyzer. So that's the advanced electrolyzer three. We're also going to need a CEF for EV. Converts forge energy to EU, right? We'll go with a 4X one for now. Um, now we also should probably get some 4X end steel wire. So I should probably teach you how that's made. I'm not going to teach that one. I'm going to teach... This one. End steel cable. Because there's no loss on that, right? So that means that we're probably going to want to know how to make end steel cables here. Okay. So we should probably figure out the whole shebang, right? So we're gonna need to know how to make end steel ingots and end steel cables. Uh, and you are an alloy smeltery, so you're gonna need some end stone dust. And you already know how to make dark steel, right? And that's just pulverized end stone. Uh, now end stone ain't terrible. It ain't terrible. Chemical reactor of luminescence and lava. That's way more expensive than this, right? So I should be able to like grab a bunch of those. And while we're at it now, uh, it seems like a good time to get some more ender pearls because I feel like we're getting low on those. So um, can you get me like 10 of those? That seems pretty fair. Can you get me 50 of those? We're gonna need a little bit more clay. Yeah, we should get uh, we should get ender pearls cooking again. And I should really Think about doing like a cobble works because I can get clay via cobble works in this pack, among other things like silicon we can get via cobble works. So one of the one of the new and upcoming episodes should absolutely be cobble works for clay and other things. 
So maybe we'll look forward to that happening in a couple episodes, but I'd still like to get this thing going, right? So let's teach you all the things you need to know. And also let's get some more patterns handy. I usually make about 20 at a time because that's about what you can craft without too much difficulty, right? So that looks good. 24, booyah. All right, so endstone is pulverizer, right? Uh, and then you are this. And then end steel wire is wire mill. And then end steel cable. I want you to actually know how to make the 4x end steel cable. Because that's what we're going to want to teach. So that's actually going to wind up being 4 rubber, right? Okay. And then you should probably know how to make a CEV. CEFEV thingy. Um, I guess I can teach you how to make one of those. Um, probably not a bad idea. I just need one of these, which I should probably be keeping in stack at this or in stock at this point. I just haven't gotten around to doing that just yet. There you go, sir. Get to work for me. All right, let me get some crafting out of the way and we'll come back in just a few minutes. The other things I'm gonna need, uh, just more mainframe dudes. All right, that's not bad for the electrolyzer. Some other things are probably gonna need those um, EV pumps and all that stuff, right? Pistons and pumps and, and all that good stuff. But we'll, uh, we'll look into making those when the time comes. We don't need them just yet. All right, cool. So we've got CE, F E V taken care of. Cool. Uh, and we could get some 4X and steel cables. Does four of them sound good? I think so. Sounds nice to me. Uh, and that takes care of those dudes. And now you, we're just going to need an EV machine hole. Again, that looks cool. Uh, and some platinum wire. Ah, platinum wire is going to be needed here. And you need refined mainframe dudes there too. So you know what I should probably do? Get like four of these. No crafting CPUs are available, huh? Also, we need ender pearls. Like nobody's business. Because I just used a bunch. Should probably do something about that. We'll figure it out. Probably what I'll do, what I'll probably wind up doing is once we get, because this thing all it needs is pulsating dust and clay, so that's not too bad. It's not too bad, right? Um, and pulsating dust, we can get from that stuff, or we can electrolyze an ender pearl, right? Yeah. So an ender pearl makes a pulsating dust. Okay. And we get six of them per this. What are our chances when we're at like the top here, right? Superior is a 20% chance. It's a 30% chance it's self-aware. That math adds up, right? Like statistically speaking, you're going to get more per, per uranite dust, right? So I think that makes sense. Plus each uranite is four polymer, right? So yeah, I think that works. I think that works. So it might be doable. We'll see. Uh, more crafting to be done for sure. Also waiting for a little bit more enderpearl. So we'll be right. Actually, you know what I'm probably going to do is just make two mainframes for now. That should be good. We'll keep those in stock. And then um, we'll also use them for our advanced electrolyzer. But we have to figure out platinum. I don't think we figured out platinum ingots yet, right? So platinum comes from smelting sheldonite or platinum ore. Do we have any of that? Why does Sheldonite sound familiar to me? Where do we find Sheldonite and or Platinum Ore? Definitely not anywhere that I've been yet. Let's look around. All right, so Platinum Ore, which I don't think I've found just yet, right? Uh, luckily, hey, is craftable with some of those diamond doohick or the omni quarters i call them diamond because they have a diamond color but they're omni quarters right of which we can make more of if we got a bunch of omni nickels how are we doing on omni pretty good pretty good 
right? Um, also can be purchased for Omni coins now. By the way, what's the recipe for it? Oh, that's a lot of Omni coins. Five Omni dollars. <laughs> I ain't doing that. You crazy? You crazy? Uh, let's plop you down somewhere over here, Buster. I don't think we already. Oh, we did have a platinum ore. So I got it from somewhere at some point. Maybe I snagged it to search for. So we have some platinum dust. We probably pulverized it. That's what we probably did. I probably got myself 32 of these and meant to go looking for it. To be fair, it's been a little bit of time. So this platinum can probably be taken care of, right? And we've got a bunch of oil sands dust here to process at some point. A whole production line needs to be made. That's what, that's what it boils down to. Uh, but we've got platinum, so that's cool. I mean, actually, we already made it platinum wire, so we already taught you how to make this, because we were thinking ahead. That's nice. All right, so your processor arrays, your mainframe dudes, are they still crafting? I can only assume that they are. And also, you're down here crafting something, ain't you? You know what I bet it is? Do you not know? You say that you're making 4X vibrant alloy cables. Or not vibrant. You you said you were making end steel cables, right? Did you maybe make the wrong ones? What do these need to be on? 26. Oh, this thing is on 24. That's why. So it made these. My bad. Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to have to cancel that and either do another assembly machine fluid extractor combo for 4x or um i thought you you guys do 4x though right so you are 24 and you are 26 as well so why does this work <laughs> it really shouldn't uh it really really shouldn't you should be 26 not 24 that's a difference why do i feel like that's worked in the past right and I'm curious as to why it's working now. It's strange. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, you're making a bunch of circuits, taking your sweet time as usual. Lots of crafting happening. We'll come back in a few. That's why. That's why. You can also do it this way. Got it. All right. Advanced electrolyzer, Mark III. Sweet. And we should have some 4X and steel cable. And we should also have a CEF EV. Nice. Now, uh, do we have any batteries handy? We have a couple large batteries, right? But that's not the that's not the EV version of batteries, is it? Are there EV batteries? I don't even know. What uh, what kind of EV stuff do we have? That looks like some kind of battery storage. Is that a thing? Is that a thing that exists? Oh wait wait wait, Lapatron crystals. There's your EV level. Okay. That's cool. Well, what do we got going on here? So first off, you want me to make tungsten. You also want a cryogenic air distillation for some reason. Um, but that also gets us into basic reactor plating tungsten. So ha ha ha. But we'll get that going in a minute, right? So tungsten, right? We need to extreme voltage this thing. So let's get our P2P dude. So that we can be ready. Should we build an extreme voltage line down here or what? Does that sound like a plan, kind of? It sounds like it might be a cool plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it might be a cool plan. Uh, the other thing we could do is start, um, to be fair, working in this room a little bit more. And we could, like, rewire some of this mess. <laughs> we'll be honest, it's a little mess. Um, so that it's less of a mess. It's a stretch, right, to be sure. Like, wow, that is some dire wire. Um, but like this room could be some of our EV stuff. Cause like, you know, we're still, we're still in a position here. Where things are going to actually, I don't need that. Where things are going to be a little bit rough for a few minutes. So yeah, maybe we could have this be our extreme voltage room. Does that sound like a smart idea? I like that idea, right? Um, uh, cause we already have this thing in here, right? So... Why don't we make like an extreme voltage line right here? We'll start. We'll start right here, and then we'll work our way down, right? So just like we have in this room, 
Um, so frankly, what we should have is, is along this line here is where that should be. Okay. Um, and then your P to P really could go right here. with conduiting. Bing, you've got energy now? Nice. And I suspect at least having something in there, even though that's HV tier, we should really have Lapatrons in there. But even though that's there, we'll see if that at least works a little bit, right? So then we've got end steel cabling, right? It's pretty spiffy. Extreme voltage, first machine, go! Nice. Now, are you gonna have trouble with power? That's gonna be my main question right so if i want to electrolyze you you need hydrogen and large amounts of it to get our tungsten out of this and we're going to get oxygen out of that right um so what i should probably do is have a fluid interface right so we need hydrogen right so let's get ourselves a bucket of hydrogen and let's get ourselves, we have some ender fluid conduits, good, okay. Fluid interface, check. So what I'm gonna do is pop that dude right there. How cool is that, right? And this could just be that thing, right? And I'm gonna config you to keep hydrogen in stock, right? And then what we can do is have this happening like so. So you're gonna extract on Let's have you insert on red, and you can extract on brown. Because I like to avoid using the green channels when I can, right? So you should be inserting on brown, and you should be extracting on red always active, right? So watch what happens now. He's gonna fill up with hydrogen, right, from our system, uh, and this thing's just gonna keep hydrogen in stock, and he's gonna do it. Because I suspect there's gonna be a few other machines on this line that might need this. Worst case, this just solves me having to put an import and export on the same channel, right? Like, rather than have an import and export, we can just use, use the same hydrogen, or the same ME fluid interface to handle that situation, right? So that's pretty cool, right? So now when you electrolyze, seven of you turn into tungsten dust. Wow. Wow, that is a small amount. I'm suspecting we have more of that though. Yes, we have lots of tongue state ore, which is good because we're gonna need it. Okay, you get to work. Stone dust, I'll put you in here, stone dust, because you process pretty quickly, I wanna say. I think it's three per process, which is why I brought it down. Actually, that, that change may not have made any impact, we'll see. And while you're there, you can clean this up as well. But we'll process this tungstate stuff, and we'll see what that gets us. But long story short, we've got tungsten dust now. Okay, cool. So now we just blast furnace that up directly into tungsten. That's cool. Booyah. Oh, he needs more energy. Really? You need more energy, Chief? It's a little surprising. I would think that you're cool on energy, right? I mean, you don't have any batteries in here, so that might be the reason. I think I've got... I thought we had more batteries in there. Let's cook up. Can I make 16 batteries? I totally can. It'll probably take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do uh, is borrow four of these. And we will pop two and two in here. How's that sound? So two and two. And then we'll let you run again. And now you're happy? Nice. And then what we're going to do is be prepared to do the hot tongue state export thing. Right? So we should be getting tungsten. There it is, right? Um, boom. And then you cool off the tungsten, and we get our first tungsten ore. Hooray! That's cool. Quest complete. Nice. 
All right, that's cool. Ooh, that unlocked a bunch of things. Uh, IV machine holes, slice and splice. All right, empower, tungsten carbide. Cool. So tungsten steel is a thing that we're going to want to make, right? Um, and tungsten carbide is a thing we're going to want to make. So that guy is what? Tungsten carbide ingot? Hot, I assume we're going to carbon plus tungsten ingot. All right, that's not bad. Uh, at 27K. So tungsten plus carbon dust. Okay. This is the 27K, right? Now that's 18, that's 27. So you could do this for me, right? Seems reasonable enough. So let's do, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do tungsten and carbide. Or yeah, tungsten carbide, right? I'm gonna put you like I did before, right? So I'm gonna say that in reality, it's these two ingots, right? Carbon dust plus tungsten ingot. Missing a coal. We're gonna have to do something about that for sure. And I know I did see your comments on that one video where you're like, hey Dyer, you're kind of derping with coal. Uh, I'm, I'm being a little bit wasteful with regards to the carbon output of my, anything that's making carbon monoxide could in theory be turning that into carbon dust and storing it for other use. And I'm voiding a lot of carbon dioxide. To be fair, that is true. And I should probably do something about that, right? And I probably will uh, once I decide to fix that, <laughs> right? Totally, you know, get it, right? And then you need to free up some space so that can work, right? So stone dust out, and then you're gonna start processing all that impure oil sand stuff, cool. All right, so now we bring this over here to this dude. Yeah, I could probably put, you now you're doing that, right? So you can, you can be my auto crafter for this, boom. You're gonna cook that pretty quickly. So I'll probably be cool with that, right? And then you come to me and you do that and then you do that, boom. Nice. So now that that's cooled, that's our output, right? So those two yield that, right? Hooray, quest complete. So hopefully the other tungsten dude is just as easy to deal with, right? So. We should do something with you. Hey, cool, lithium dust. That's what's up. And you're happy? And you're gonna make more tungsten. All right, cool. So tungsten carbide check, tungsten steel, assuming it's something similar. Yeah, tungsten plus steel ingot equals two tungsten steel, you say. And this guy is only one, right? Yes, so I get two tungsten steel. So you and a steel ingot in a blast furnace with what temperature? 27, so you can be here as well. Cool. And that's going to make me tungsten steel. Sweet. So we'll wait for the hot version. We'll get two of them, right? Two hots. Come on, bro. Yeah, it literally showed up as I went to check what was taking so long. I need another one of these, please. Oh, that was so close. Look how close I got. Half a heart, but I did it. I survived. Totally survived. That was close. All right, so tungsten steel ingots, we get two of them for tungsten ingot plus steel ingot. Yields two of these. Hooray, tungsten steel complete. And that's gonna go right in there with the other one. Nice. Okay, not bad. Knocking out quests like, oh boy. Tier three micro miner, we ain't even gotten tier two yet. We haven't even gotten to tier two yet, and you're already trying to make me do tier three. So what's the tier three micro miner do? I'm just curious, right? Uh, tier three. Hmm. 
There he is. So that'll get me, with gemstone sensor, a bunch of emeralds, diamond, and rubies, and some silver and gold. And that will get me sheolite, tungstate, tetrahydrite, copper, rutile, cassiterite, tin, redstone, and certain quartz ore. That's some shenanigans right there. Basic quantum chest. You need me to make one of these for each operation of this? And 20, 000, 20 buckets of rocket fuel? I feel like I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of microverse stuff. I don't know. Maybe I will. We'll see. But boy, is that some shenanigans. Right? Feels like some shenanigans. All right. Well, we've got plenty of power going, which is cool. Uh, our batteries should be getting done. How are our batteries doing? Cool. If we're done there. Stack of sodium will be four more batteries, and then we can get this guy recharged. Cool. And everything's going great, by the way, with our refinery gas. And, and everything's working the way it's supposed to, basically, right? We, we're actually doing pretty good on biodiesel. Refinery gas we're out of, but pretty soon we'll switch over to naphtha. Cool. All right, first EV machine in the works. I'll do a little bit of rewiring between episodes here to make this area a little better, because it could probably be a little bit better, clearly. Um, let's see, what's next questing-wise? So basic reactor plating is a thing, and that'll probably get us into the nuclear craft realm of things. I should probably look at this, but it requires basic air collection, huh? All right, craft up some LV electric pumps. Cool. And that should get me pretty close to my basic air collector now. Uh, with that, we're gonna just need an LV machine hole and an item filter. Okay, which is zinc foil. What's involved in making foil again? It's been a while. Cluster mill, huh? So I'm basically going to want two of you. Yeah, I got a quest complete. Right, two of those, and I thought I had a cluster mill down here. I feel like I had a cluster mill, didn't I? Should probably just be teaching it. There's your cluster mill. Sweet. Okay, and hey, while you're at it, LV machine hole, please. Thanks. And a steel plate. Should be a quick one. Nice. All right, uh, so that'll get us the basic air collector, which will just basically collect air, I suppose. Seems pretty straightforward. Um, and But the main thing it's gonna do is collect, uh, or, or complete a quest for me, because I actually already have an air collector the advanced air collector so it does the exact same thing i presume except um completing that quest <laughs> so we have to do this for the sake of completing the quest so that we can say ding 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 come on there you go nice uh and now that we got the dinging going on we can make our Cryogenic air distillation, which will get us nitrogen and the noble gases. Interesting. So we're going to need another one of those modular machine dudes, right? Uh, we're going to need 50 frost-proof machine casings. Holy cow. Uh, and we're going to need four solid steel... 84 solid steel machine casings. What? We need how many? Air can be sent into the vacuum freezer to turn into liquid air. Liquid air can be sent into the cryogenic distillation tower to break it down into its components. In addition to the components listed here... You'll need an energy input hatch, a fluid input hatch, and five fluid output hatches, all of whatever size you wish. Note that despite accepting EU power, modular machines will not overclock. Cool. Interesting. And fascinating. And that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> wow. That's going to be a between episode craft, to be sure. Um, fun times already. For sure. For sure fun times. Uh, so that's a lot of things to make, but I'll get us apparently some noble gases and nitrogen. And um, apparently that might lead us to epoxid or something else. So right now it looks like my paths are as follows. Um, we can get into nuclear craft. That My assumption would be that's chilling around here. These guys might, you know, lead to, I don't know, uh, making basalts and all that stuff, right? So that's exciting, right? Liz powder. Um... For what purpose? I'm not sure. Maybe to get higher tier thermal stuff? Maybe? We'll figure that out. Um, 
We can also get into... So, like, this will be nuclear craft, right? What's our late game situation looking like? Vanadium gallium. Tungsteel coil block. So, technically, that's probably available to me right now because we have tungsten steel, right? We have tungsteel. Probably not in huge amounts, but we have it, which is cool. So you can go in here so we can get more of that, so we can process that stuff a little bit better, right? Manganese, nickel, neat. Impure pile of platinum. That should be processed for sure. And then uh, my impure pile of tungstate should also be processed, okay? Uh, so here's what I'm going to do between episodes. Um, I'll look through some of these quests and figure out what I want to do next. How's that sound? Ooh, an assembly line, huh? That sounds cool. That sounds really cool. Assembly line, you say. Might be nifty. Ivy machine holes, license plays, experience obelisk. Did I already get one of those? I already have an experience obelisk. I didn't need anything fancy to make that. Nope, that was easy enough to make by itself. All right, for now, don't forget to sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.